Hello from GSIC, where I'm talking with David Palmer-Stevens of Panduit. David, in your presentation, your thesis is that the industry is tending to run along tram lines. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's caused by the recession that we've just been through and that major businesses have cut down on their staff and haven't upgraded their facilities. And so what's happened is the operational expenses have gone right up. And so today they account for about 70% of the actual IT budget and if, if you then add that the fact they've got to maintain it, so there's a maintenance part to it, m nearly 95% of the IT budget now is taken up with the maintenance of stuff they have. So it means that the whole of the IT department is actually looking backwards at what they already have. Nobody's looking forwards. And because the IT budget now is restricted because of the operational expenses, what you find is, is that the, the guys selling them products, so our partners are going there to represent us. They tend to ask the customer what their issues are, what they're doing, how they're trying to do it, and what would they like. And it's this, what would you like, that, that I object to. Because they are commoditizing the product, they're not focused on value, they're trying to keep the old stuff going, they're trying to rectify the old stuff, and they're not advising the companies on, on what they should be doing their way forward. And there's been huge steps made. Just an example, the servers you buy this year that Intel make are half the consumed power for the same CPU power than the servers of last year. So if you changed your servers, you would reduce the power consumption by 50%. That means you reduce your cooling costs by 50%. Okay? So there's a huge saving in operational expenses, which they haven't got. If you'd advise a customer, they should look at it and they should do it. How do you bring about a change of mindset if that's the way things have been for quite some time? Well, for me, it's to, to point this out. So that's what I've been doing in the conference is to say, guys, you take the product, you show it to the customer and you say, hi guys, we've got this new product. And the guy says, oh yeah, that's one of that. And it's standards based. So if the products are standards based, that means they're all the same. And so you create the impression that everything is the same, and so it's just a matter of price. Whatever price I pay, I'm getting the same thing. And you're not explaining the value. And a lot of times, the value is not evident in the cost of the product. You have to look at the operational cost of that product, which is actually the customer's major concern anyway. Okay? So an example of that, we have a product called WireGrid. We used Forrester Research, and Forrester Research got some um, well-equipped, well-experienced installers, they got all the cable tray systems there were and said, right guys, go deploy it. Once they deployed it to a set pattern, they then knew they were experienced and said, right, now we're going to time you. So they did it again and timed them. And the Panduit solution was 70% faster to do deploy. So when you show the customer these are cable trays, are standard, standard sizes, and they just look at a price, that's not where the value is. The value is that once it goes in the data center, it's got to last 10 to 15 years. That means all the ads, moves, and changes, all the changes that happen to a data center that these guys are experienced in, it's going to cost 70% more to do it with any of the competition. So they're going to buy a cheaper solution, but pay for 10 years 70% more. It doesn't make sense when you say it. It doesn't make sense when you're listening to it. So it's their responsibility to say, excuse me, there's value in this product, and this is where the value is. And that goes across the board. So they should make the effort to understand and be brave enough to stop being timid in front of the customer and what do you want and what do you need. Tell them, because they're looking backwards and they're not looking forwards. So the salesperson in this process is moving over from trying to flog you something to become a trusted advisor. Oh, absolutely. And, and Panyut spend a lot of money on making sure that the things that we invent, the things that we design, are documented and why we did it. And when we, as a company, see value, we get a third party to certify the value. So when these guys go to the customer and they don't use the material, they're failing the customer as well as failing their own business. And if you can explain to a customer value, a customer will pay for value. What they won't pay for is a perception, everything's the same, so it must be price. So they're really cutting their own legs off by not doing it. 
and the, the information there is to do it. And they're building a long-term relationship because that, if you've reduced your IT staff and nobody's looking forward, and these guys come in and say, I'm going to tell you what's happening, I'm telling you, I advise you which way you should be going, I want to tell you what you should be looking at and help you with those decisions, then you, as a church of you're a crutch. The guy can lean on you because he's short of resources and he can trust you, and you're going to build a long-term relationship. You agree with him that things are a commodity and it's just about price, then the next cheapest guy comes along, removes your business. David Palmer-Stevens, thank you very much.